What's up, JKationers? We are in Timisoara, Romania. We're gonna go around the town, check out some of the spots, Uniri Square, Victory Plaza, and everything else they have to offer, and have some Romanian food. So let's go check it out. <laughs> We are now in Timisoara. It was about a three hour train ride from Oradia. We're only spending a day here. I was supposed to leave and go to Italy from here, but with the level four going on, I'm not going anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in Romania for four more days after this. I gotta cancel my flight, so I gotta go to the airport and see what I can do. I'm gonna go to my Airbnb first. The Airbnb host said I could check in early. Go there, take a shower because there's no hot water in my Airbnb in Oradia. Relax for a bit, grab lunch, then head to the airport, and then explore a little bit of Timisoara. If you guys haven't subscribed yet to my channel, hit that subscribe button, please like, and comment below if you have any questions about Timisoara. Well, it looks like we're staying at another nice Airbnb. Look at this huge bed it's in like a house this quiet house and then over here is like a big walk-in closet it's a bigger closet than they have at home this airbnb in Timisoara was only $19.50 for one night and then outside there's a really nice bathroom we're just outside the old town we're gonna head that way we're gonna take a bolt over there showered up feel clean feel good feel strong so let's go and check it out also got to hit up the airport and see if I could change my flight. If not, I'm just going to have to eat that flight and then book a new flight to just go straight to Barcelona. Alright, Jaycationers, we just got here to Uniri Square, Timisoara city center. Bolt driver was telling me that the mayor uh, turned this whole area into just a walking zone. So it's no cars and it's just this huge square with a bunch of colorful buildings. I, I see all different types of colors. This, this is nice. I'm gonna look for some lunch. I found a place. So I found this Romanian joint called Dakic Grill on uh, TripAdvisor, four and a half stars. Hopefully I find it and uh, try some more Romanian food. I can't seem to find that Dakic Grill. We're at a traditional Romanian restaurant called Miorita. So I'm gonna try the Michi, uh, this drunken Chevalier soup, and some polenta along with some mulled wine. So I got the mulled wine with orange peel in it. I've never seen the orange peel cut and put in the mulled wine like that. It's re actually really strong, really, really strong. So I got the drunken Chevalier's soup. It's got pickled cabbage, smoked pork, sour cream, pork chop, and sausages in it. Oh, it looks fantastic. I need this in my life. Good chorba. So I just got the michi, got three pieces, like five lu each, and the polenta with the mustard. Excited to try this. It's the polenta. Mm, different type of texture than mashed potatoes, that's for sure. It's all right. 
let's try to meet you. Mm. Not gonna lie, this restaurant's pretty awesome. The theme and the decorations is what makes this place. Um, I enjoyed the Michi, that was the first time I ever had that. Uh, you buy them by the piece and they were like five lu each. And then uh, the soup was good, the uh, mulled wine. It's uh, super strong, they have orange peels on it too. It was good. Um, I still haven't tried their beers, the Timish Orana beer. I'll probably try it for dinner. So we're gonna go walk around right now. So this building right here is called the Brook House. It's uh, right next to where I ate lunch. And this square has Uniri Square. This, there's a bunch of Uniri Squares. There was one in Oradia and one now in uh, here in Timishwara. And this right here is St. George's Cathedral. Looks like it's under construction because it's all blocked off right now. So I've been withdrawing my cash from Banca Transylvania. Uh, I only took out 200 the first time around, but I'm gonna take a little more out this time because I know I'm staying four more days. And Messi is a spokesperson. So I only took out 200, but I think I can make the 200 work. Just charge everything on my credit card while I'm here since I have no transaction, uh, zero transaction fees. This right here is the Serbian Orthodox Episcopal Church. This dude saying, call me. Call me, baby. What's up? Look at that, more artisan shops. Why do you gotta be playing this song when I'm on a solo trip to Romania right now? Mug collectors, I found the Starbucks. Is there a mug that I don't have here? So although I'm supposed to go to Bucharest for like half a day, and I know there's like 8 million Starbucks over there, I didn't want to take the chance just in case, I don't know, you know, you, know, you never know what ha will happen. So I just picked up the mug now, even if it's an extra thing to carry. I've learned in the past that sometimes things just end up not working out and if I don't get it the first chance, it's game over. And this is what they call Victory Plaza. The Roman wolves, which is a symbol of the Romans, they have it here in Timisoara. That's the Orthodox Metropolitan Cathedral. I'm here waiting for it, the express bus to take me to the airport so I could figure out my flights that I'm not taking anymore to Italy because Lord knows if you try to call them on a call center, the airlines, it's just impossible to, especially when you're overseas and you just can't find a way to contact them. So I'm just going to try to talk to somebody directly and hopefully get a refund or get my plane ticket transferred. If not, I'm out almost 200 bucks but it's better than getting that virus. All right, we made it to the Timisoara airport. It's about a 15 minute drive from the center. Um, hopefully I can get my flight canceled. It's like, no, they can't help me. These economy airlines suck. They rip you off, even with a freaking worldwide epidemic going on. So I'm out 196 bucks, but I figured that I'd come to the airport and at least try, but guess that's a fail. This has logistically probably become the worst trip I've ever done or ever had with, uh, in terms of getting on flights and whatnot. Now, 
I don't understand, but tomorrow this flight from Timisoara to Milan is gonna go on, especially with the level four alert. Um, no, I'm not gonna go on that. And if I'm gonna lose $45 for that, I'm gonna lose $45 for that. No refunds for any of this, even though we were issued a four alert. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. So a little update on my flight situation. The next morning, I actually, believe it or not, got an email from Wizz Air saying the flight to Milan was canceled. And I was eventually, through all these emails, I was eventually given my full refund. Now I had two other flights within Italy. I was gonna fly from Milan to Sicily for the TBEX Travel Bloggers Conference. And that flight still happened because at the time, domestic travel within Italy was still going on. So that flight didn't get canceled even though the country closed its borders. But how am I supposed to get on a flight if I can't even get into the country? So luckily my Chase Sapphire preferred card actually gave me the refund for that Ryanair flight from Milan to Sicily. So I got the full refund for that. And then a few days later, I got an email from Vueling, which was the airline I was gonna take back from Catania in Sicily, back to Barcelona. And they gave me my full refund. So when all is said and done through all these emails and trying to talk to people, I finally got all three segments of those flights refunded. So I didn't lose any money, just a lot of time and a lot of headache in order to get that money back. So after that fail at the airport, I'm just gonna go back to Aniri Square. I saw those little stands over there. I might just pick up some uh, street food tonight, take it back to the Airbnb, and then just relax the rest of the time. Ended up getting a kebab to go, 11 lule, whatever you want to call it. It was 11 Romanian dollars. One thing that I liked about this kebab spot was they put fries in the kebab, and then I told him to put some vegetables, and he's like, it's not kebab if you put vegetables. These are plastic, but they got french fries up in there. Yeah, buddy. I think I'm gonna head over to a coffee shop because my train doesn't leave till 1 and it's only 11 when I have to check out so I got two hours in between. So you guys might see this clip right now. Alright guys, so that was OV Ride. Uh, coffee here in Timisoara. The owner from Snooze back in Oradia, uh, he was the one that told me about this place. Um, lighter type coffee, and it was actually pretty good. And I had the fresh squeezed orange juice, and that hit the spot. And the uh, prosciutto croissant was really good. All right, vacationers, that's it here from Timisoara, Romania. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. We got more content coming up from Romania. We're headed over to Sibiu for four days, and we're gonna tour around the Transylvania region. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. We'll see you later. Subscribe. Mm -hmm.